All right, my friends, so we are doing a pair of earbuds today. And these ones are from a company called Northside. Yep, Northside. Is there a Northside? I don't know. Everybody's gonna have some kind of hand gesture, so that's my N, right? Northside. Anyways, these are like $40 US earbuds. And we're gonna be taking a look at how these things pair, which of course is Bluetooth, so my guess would be that they should pair nice and easy. We're gonna take a look at what comes in this little box right here. And last but not least, we're gonna we're gonna take a listen, see how they sound. How do these $40 earbuds perform? Do they sound any good? That's gonna come up right now. All right, my friends, so I've got, first off, like a little data sheet here that is on their website. Uh, NS Series 10 wireless earbuds, specially designed double moving eight millimeter horn for dynamic sound, magnetic charging case, uh, key features. It does have the CVC 8.0 noise canceling. Now again, just realize this is for phone calls. It is rated IPX7 for sweat proof, waterproof, perfect for active lifestyle. So if you are someone that is a little on the active slash sweaty side, maybe, maybe you're sweaty and you're not active. Either way, these could be good. Ergonomic fit, in-ear design, stays secure during workouts and runs, extremely comfortable. Three ear tip sizes to ensure best and most comfortable fit. It does say with the case, instant pairing with your device as soon as you open the charge case. And again, this is after they have been paired. So it does remember the last connected device. Uh, three full charges plus six hours on the earbuds for a total of 24 hours battery life. One on the earbuds, three in the case, makes it four, four times six, 24. We can all do math. Some of us can do math. Not all of us can do math. Let's, let's, let's call it like it is. I've seen so many math. You, you just don't have enough fingers, right? I get it. Coming out of this, we can go to their actual Amazon listing right here. Now, they are getting about 56 ratings at three and a half stars. So we will take a look. Again, one of the things to really realize when you look at things like ratings, especially like this, is these are $39 earbuds. So don't go putting them up against $100, $200 earbuds and then be like, oh, they don't sound as good. Well, no, they're $40. I've had the opportunity to listen to a wide range of earbuds. So hopefully I can give you my opinion. Again, this is my opinion. If I find that these are worth 40 bucks. So as we can see here, they do come, or that looks like that comes in this, the picture shows almost this like gunmetal type color, which is, which is kind of handy. Uh, rapid one step pairing, 24 hours. Yeah, we got it, IPX7, ergonomic. These guys, and it looks like they're happy, they're in love, maybe. Or maybe they're just out, heading, heading toward a movie. And this guy, he's jamming. He's, he's super, he's super into it, I think. All right, let's see what's in the box. This is the box here, north side. This is the NS Series 10 wireless earbuds, truly wireless. And uh, that's kind of it. That's kind of it that's on the box. So let's, let's grab a little knife here. Crack those open because we have to. And it's a small box, which is good. You know, we see a lot of wasted material sometimes. I like that these are, this is a tiny box, which is good. Oh, and I do like the size of the case, for sure. Like these are nice and small. That's, the color's a little misrepresented. Misrepresented? Mis, you know what I'm saying. I'm. It's not the same. That kind of has a gunmetally bluish tone to it. And it doesn't say here that there's any color options, but the ones I got are definitely more of like a gray. You guys can see that here. You know, that's that's definitely a grayish color in comparison to that grayish blue that's kind of on there. Still nice though. I do like it and it's you guys can see that how small that is. That's nice and tiny, which is which is super good. That's going to be your micro USB and your case charge indicator is what I would guess. So I'm just gonna lay that there. You guys see this? I was working outside yesterday. Look at that. Smoked my hand right into the wall. Cut up my fingers. That's right. I need some sympathy, some empathy. It hurts a little bit, actually. It's weird. It's like when you get a cat scratch or a paper cut and you're like, why does that hurt so much? Same thing here. It's just, just irritating all the time. 
Anyway, enough about my personal issues. You also get a little accessory, and as they state, my guess is it's gonna be the micro USB cable and the extra tips for sizing. So there's your USB cable right there. It's not a super long one, but it'll do the trick. And, and your tips, there you go. So there's your three extra pairs, different sizes. And I say this all the time, and I will continue to say this, it's really important for you and I to make sure we choose the right tips when we are putting these in our ears, because if they're a size that's too big, you may get decent sound because you're getting a good seal, but it may put a lot of pressure on your ear and then they cause earaches, which nobody wants earaches. Or the opposite where you have one of the tips and it's too loose and it fits in there, but you get sound leaks. So what happens is you're not getting that nice full, especially low end sound that would normally be in your ears. That doesn't make sense. It's not sealing well. So you wanna make sure you get a different size. So many people I know, they just take whatever size came out of the case and they're like, yeah, that's it. And if it doesn't sound good, they're like, these are crap. And I'm like, have you changed the tips? And then you don't hear from, you're like, never mind. No, never mind. All right, last but not least, you get a tiny, tiny, tiny little user manual. This, uh, the fonts are okay. They're not as small as I've seen in some, which is really bad. These ones, I can read those. I can read those. Yeah, packing list, product parameters, binaural mode. Uh, what else do you got here? TWS mode, all function keys, etc., etc. Gives you all the instructions on how to do it, how to turn your Bluetooth on, etc., etc. Uh, I'm not going to go through this kind of stuff. Really, today we are just listening to them, making sure that they sound okay, and and that's really going to be it. If you guys get a pair of these down the road, you are more than welcome to play around with all the different features. I'm sure, I'm sure there, there's lots, I'm guessing, for 40 bucks. Or not, who knows. All right, put that stuff all back and we are just gonna take a look at these real quick. So here they are, Northside. I do like that, it's a nice looking case. It's not super heavy, but I'd say it's almost like AirPod case heavy, maybe a little less because it feels a little smaller, but I do like how small that is. That's really nice. And when you open it, actually before I open it, we're gonna bring my phone over here. You guys can see my phone and the case side by side. And we're gonna go into the settings here, into Bluetooth, because my guess is that the moment we open these, they're gonna start pairing. So I'm gonna pop those open. Oh, those are nice looking. Oh yeah, you can hear them. You can hear them start their pairing. So I'm gonna take that one and then it goes. And see, for me, I'm usually fairly lucky that mediums or whatever's on them usually fits me pretty good. Those are those are in, decent seal. Sounded like they were doing something when they started. Let's just make sure, is it a, oh, it's a button. It's an actual button. Power on, oh, NS series, there you go. So really it's the left one that's the primary one or at least it seems connected. And these should be up here, there they are, connected. That's all right. And you guys can see, yeah, I think those look okay, right? They're in there good. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Okay, let's go into some music, shall we? And again, I'm just gonna take a listen here, music, and we'll listen to this song right here because it's, it's the one I always listen to. Little Lady Gaga, little telephone. I'm going to start at about 50% volume. Bring that to the beginning, all right? Okay, so far good. I'm gonna crank it right up because I think that's really important so we can hear what kind of volume they have. Oh yeah, no complaints. They got a really nice sound actually, some decent low end. And the mids and the highs are good, really nice separation. For $40, yeah, um, that sounds pretty good. And even at full volume, which you can see here, there's no real distortion at all in any of the, like the highs or the lows or anything. It's it's nice and clean. Oh yeah, no complaints about those at all. Well, 40 bucks, that's pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna pick something a little more uh, rockish, rockish? 
you, you know what I'm saying. So let's go back in here and this time I'm going to search for these fine fellas here, Disturbed. We'll go to this album here. Let's do this one. Yeah, still, even with the rock, you get that nice low end. And the highs are nice and clean. And really good volume, like not so loud that you're like, oh my gosh, they're loud, but nobody should complain with the, the volume on these for sure. Oh yeah. I'll make sure I can get to the chorus. Now, I don't know if you guys can hear much for sound leak. And again, this is at full, full volume. But these are loud. You tell me, I can't tell. Sound leak, much? Oh, here we go. Okay, so without making this video crazy long, uh, those sound great, and I'm pretty sure, because it is a physical button, it's not like a touch sensor, it is a button, you can feel it click. You can see here that it's not playing right now, so if I tap it, it's playing, right? Tap, it's off. If I double tap, oh, double tap actually brought the volume down. So it is something that you want to play around with. I'm not going to play around too much with all the different click and double clicks and triple clicks and all that kind of stuff. But I do know that click once, play, click it again, stops. Uh, it does have some volume control, at least it did on mine. And of course, if you long hold these, they should disconnect. Let's see. Hold that, hold it, hold it. Yeah, it's a long hold. You have to hold them a fair bit, but it gets the power off in both earbuds. So. Very nice. I don't mind those one bit. Yeah, and then they go. Nice, nice magnet, right? There's your little light indicator, kind of saying what it's doing right now. It looks like two reds on the side, so maybe it's saying that it's charging this one and this one. Yeah, that's handy. So everybody here, for the most part, on the reviews, they were saying that they were good. There's a ton of five stars. There's just a ton of five stars here. There are some people talking about connectivity issues and or uh, one stopped working, but the majority of them are high. So, you know, you get a couple one stars, of course, and it just drops the review rating down. Now, I don't know what these are gonna be like one month down the road, six months down the road, et cetera, et cetera. But if I do have any kind of issues, I will make sure to report it back on the comments. For sure, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. And for those of you that have these, we always encourage you guys to leave your comments down below as well to let us know what you think of them, um, how they're working for you, if you've had any issues, and if you've had the opportunity to contact their customer service because that's also an important aspect of buying earbuds. Sometimes I don't mind paying more money for earbuds if the customer service is super worth it. If you buy cheap ones and they break within three weeks and nobody's there to support you, then that's not beneficial at all. So make sure to leave comments down below if you guys have any questions on these or if you've had the opportunity to own these yourselves or maybe have had to contact customer service. I think that's really important for the rest of us that are possibly interested in picking these up. All right, my friends, I'm gonna leave links down below to where you can pick these up. These are the Northside Series 10 wireless earbuds. So far, they sound great. Love the case, love the color. Little little different a color than they show on their Amazon page, but I do like it. It's, it's gray, it's gray. All right guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next video. Later my friends.